The Temple of Earth, counterpart to the Temple of Heaven, was where the ancient Chinese performed rituals to honor the Earth God. On the wall inside of the east entrance of the Temple of Earth, four golden characters are inscribed, Ho De Zai Wu, or Embracing the World with Virtue. In the eyes of the ancient Chinese, the Earth was the source of all life's birth, growth, and development. They revered the Earth and believed that a virtuous person should be like the Earth, broad-minded, accommodating all things. This is the creed that the Chinese people have adhered to for millennia, embracing the world with virtue. Written more than 2,000 years ago, the ancient classic Zhou Yi, or the Book of Changes, contains a passage that means, just as the heavens exhibit vitality through their movement, a virtuous person should strive constantly. And just as the earth's terrain is yielding, a virtuous person should possess a spirit of benevolence. One emphasizes the spirit of striving, while the other emphasizes the spirit of inclusiveness. In the history of the Chinese nation, despite facing internal and external challenges, the nation has thrived due to its spirit of relentless self-improvement and the virtue of embracing all things. At an individual level, Ho De refers to strengthening moral cultivation. At a societal level, embracing the world with virtue implies that each individual can have the space and opportunity for survival and development. Everyone has the right to pursue a happy life. The earth is generous because it nurtures and sustains all things. In the same vein, Society should create opportunities and platforms for people to achieve happiness. China is committed to creating an environment of freedom, equality, justice, and the rule of law, fostering conditions for the comprehensive development of every individual. A delivery worker can become a deputy to the National People's Congress and participant in the governance of the country. A steel worker can stand on the podium at a world-class competition. Everyone has the potential and opportunities to realize their dreams and fulfill their potential. Embracing the world with virtue also points to the inclusion of diverse civilizations. In today's world, the relationship between civilizations should not be rigid, but rather characterized by diversity, coexistence, and mutual exchange. The Earth nurtures all things without dictating how they should grow. Different species can coexist and flourish together. This diverse and creative world has emerged from the Earth's broad-mindedness. There's a saying in Chinese, all things thrive together without causing harm to one another. Different paths run parallel without conflicting. This principle illustrates how the earth nurtures all things. Throughout history, the Chinese nation has engaged with other nations and civilizations with an open-minded and inclusive attitude. For over 2,000 years, various religions such as Buddhism, Islam, and Christianity have successfully entered China. Similarly, Chinese music, painting, literature, and other forms of art 
have continually embraced valuable elements from foreign civilizations. The spirit of inclusiveness embodied by embracing the world with virtue also reflects China's vision of global governance. At present, the world stands at another historical crossroads. The idea of embracing the world with virtue is of great relevance to help humanity transcend barriers and conflicts through communication and mutual learning guiding the world toward a more open and inclusive future.